welcome back to Ballistic Coalition. So today we're going to be taking a little look at the acting scene of Rust, the incident that happened with Alec Baldwin, and the the tragedy that happened to Helena Hutchins. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at that with other firearms. Somebody's already made a couple of videos, USCCA and, and probably other YouTubers that I haven't even seen yet have probably made videos upon this, but I had this idea for a while and a couple of firearms picked out for the situation. So instead of the Colt 45 single action, I have a standard 22 single action. We're gonna see if we could, if we could make an accidental discharge happen like Alec Baldwin said, without, without even touching the trigger. So today I have some 22s that have absolutely no caps in there at all, or it is just a cap. There is no powder, there is no bullet, okay? And I've preloaded, I've taken the courtesy to preload three and this one. We're gonna go and put this fourth one in. And we're gonna see if we could do the same thing that Alec Baldwin did on the scene of Rust. But the issue that I see is he claims that he never put his finger on the trigger. I never put my finger on the trigger, he says. Well, I'm sorry to say firearms don't just fire if you don't put your finger on the trigger. He said that he put his hand on or his, he, he cocked the hammer. If your hand is on the hammer of the firearm, that's on the trigger, okay? And there's nobody behind the camera here. I'm not going to accidentally shoot somebody even though there's no bullets in here, I know there's no squib loads in the barrel. Everything's perfectly clear here. Here at Ballistic Coalition, we have safety first, unlike Alec Baldwin. So basically, he says, I was handed a gun. Well, by who? Okay, obviously it has to be from one of the armorers on the scene. Okay, somebody who's supposed to handle these firearms handed it to you. Why don't you say that in your interview? I think that's a little fishy. And then somebody, he says, someone declares it's a cold gun. Well, who? Obviously, you declared it's a cold gun, okay? If you didn't check it, you don't know if it's a cold gun, so this is negligent to me. And if, if I by actually shot somebody, it would be a negligent discharge that happened to be an unintentional murder, but yes, it happened. You murdered somebody, okay? And here on Ballistic Coalition, we take safety first. So there are no real bullets even in the vicinity right now. We got this firearm, and we're going to do exactly what Alec Baldwin says he does. First, first, if you cock it back a little bit, one click, look, it literally locked back in half cock. You're not, you're not going to get this thing to by accidentally fire without putting your finger on the trigger. So what we're going to do is half cock it roll it around so we got a cap right in front of it and one next so if this cylinder if the hammer hits this bullet it's going to go off or if it hits the next one it's going to go off okay i'm pulling the trigger right now in half cock position i'm pulling quite hard it's not going to go and fire okay let me let me cock it back a little bit Drop it, nothing. Let me drop it back. You see where my finger's at? It's not on a trigger, it's on the outside of the trigger well here. I'm pulling it back as far it locked. Okay, now the only way, all right, let me before I even show you, it's locked back without putting my finger on the trigger. You will not make this firearm go off. You will not make this hammer go forward without pulling that and releasing it. If you pulled your finger off right now, I just release it and let go, bam. He had to have kept his finger on the trigger throughout that hammer pull. It's pulled back, nothing. I deactivate it, deactivate it. Look at that. It didn't go off. To show that it will go off, I kept my finger on the trigger and I slipped off the hammer. 
that it doesn't just happen. You have to physically actuate that and pull the trigger. There is, there is no, look, nothing. You have to pull that trigger. So half cock. Let's try it on another firearm. This, it might actually work on. This is a double single action firearm. Same cartridges loaded up, only three of them though. We're gonna revolve it first to this one to show you, no cap, it's a double action. So that means pulling the trigger actuates the hammer. So what's happening is more mechanisms are moving in there. It's revolving the cylinder and pushing the hammer in one shot. There is no half cock position on this style of firearm. We're gonna see if I could actuate it on this. Okay, now we are lined up. That if I pull this, it's gonna start revolving the next round into the chamber. So let me see what happens if I half cock nothing let's do it again i half cocked the gun nothing let's do it again half cocked the gun nothing half cocked the gun again nothing half cocked again oh that's a full cock okay how do you release this full cock now before you put your finger on the trigger alec lied alec baldwin straight up lied that he never had his finger on the trigger Unless his gun was defective, the only way to make that hammer go forward is to hit that trigger. And that's all we really got for today, guys. Um, other than that, there was two other negligent discharges on the scene um, October 16th on, the, on the, act, the scene of rust. So this was not just by accident. Yes, it may have been, he didn't know there was a round in the chamber, but I know for a fact, fact that this is a negligent discharge on Alec Baldwin's behalf. And he's lying. He claims that he did not have his firearm pointed at Helena Hutchins. Firearms do not just go off, one, without pulling the trigger, so you pulled the trigger. He said, I, I didn't have my finger on the trigger. Yes, you did. If your finger's on the hammer, it's on the trigger. That is part of the trigger. Two, if you are practicing any kind of firearm safety rules, do not point your firearm at anything that you do not intend to destroy. Okay, keep your firearm pointing in a safe direction and always make sure that it is unloaded. Okay, it does not take that long. That's six rounds to literally go and check and see what's in your chamber. Didn't take that long. Was that worth somebody's life? That's all we really got for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like seeing these kind of videos. And there'll be more where that came from.